Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And today we're going to be looking at creating a UI slider using the audio mixer settings in Unity. Now, remember that normally when we use a slider, just like here, it's usually on an actual linear scale. And we don't want to use that for the audio mixer because audio mixes are actually a logarithmic scale. So they go from zero to minus 80. So when we attenuate and volume with a linear scale, it'll decrease it really fast and we don't want to do that. So what we can do to get around that is that you need yourself a UI slider and you can right click choose UI and choose slider. You also need your piece of music that we're going to turn up or down and you need an audio mixer. And you might ask me what audio mixers do. So audio mixers allows us to take bunches of sounds and attenuate those all together. Say you have settings for all weapon sounds or all voice sounds, you could have that for your menu. So we can create a, an audio mixer in Unity by right clicking the project panel, going create and choosing audio mixer. And I'm just going to call this main mixer. And when we've got that up, we need to do it to window audio and audio mixers. So with main mixer selected, you can go to the mixer tab and you can see that here's the audio mixer and you see that the master controls from zero to minus 80. Now, if we grab our music track, it will look for an output, which will look for an audio mixer group. So if we just press the little find button, we'll look for our main mixer, the master of the main mixer, unless you've created another group. And I do have a tutorial to explain audio mixers and how to use the things in there. And we need to actually expose one of the parameters of this mixer. So we can select our main master mixer and you can see at the top, it says volume. We can right click the volume and set expose volume of master to script. So we can click that and you can see at the bottom in your audio mixer selection, you've got an exposed parameter. So we can rename this exposed parameter to something that, that we might want. So we can say, call this master volume, something like that. So then we can adjust this in script. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click in the project panel, choose create C sharp, open up in visual studio when you've named it, whatever you would like. So I'm just going to call this mixer controller. Now at the top, we need a namespace to be able to control audio mixers. And first we're using unity engine dot audio. Then in our methods below, we'll clear every other method that we have. And we'll start by writing a private reference or variable to the actual audio mixer. So in square brackets, we use serialize field to make our private variable visible in the inspector. Then what we'll do is we'll have a audio mixer as the type and we'll give it a name of my audio mixer. As an example, you can give this better names if you want. Now to make the slider actually work with this, we need to add, create a public method. So we'll say public void set volume. And then in brackets, we want a float because we're going to pass in a parameter of our slider value. Because when we move our slider, we want this to be a dynamic flow that when we move that slider, we'll actually adjust it accordingly. Then we want to say my audio mixer dot set float. And then in upper brackets, we need two parameters, which are specified the string name of the thing that we want to change, and then an actual value that we give to it. But the value is what we'll have to change. Now in quotes, we're just going to write our master volume because that's what we gave it as a name. And then we need to add a comma, and then we're going to need to convert our slider volume, which we're going to use, which we would normally use if we we're just doing a linear scale to a logarithmic scale. So we need to do a math F dot log 10 open brackets, slider value, close brackets times by 20 and then have a semicolon on the end. So this just means that it converts slider value to a logarithmic value of base 10 because we're in decibels and then times is that by 20 so that we can take the value into account. We'll save that and go into back into unity. We need to select on our slider and realize that our min and max can't be just as linear values anymore. So we need to go really small with the min value. So we actually need to go to 0 0.0001. So with three zeros after the decimal place, and then the maximum can be one. Now we can take our value all the way to the maximum because when we start, the volume is maximum in my context. We can add our mixer controller script to this object, add our main mixer object here. We'll add the little plus to add a value changed effect. We'll add our mixer controller to that slot, go to our function, our mixer controller and choose set volume. So now when we press play, we'll give it a test and I will keep the audio mixer visible down here and I won't maximize on play. And as you can see at hundred percent, the master volume is at zero. Now when I start moving it, 
to about halfway, we get to roughly minus six, which would be actual half volume on an attenuated scale like this. And then if we take it all the way down, it will take it all the way to the bottom once we hit about three quarters of the way. So this just allows us to affect the audio on a specific scale without using a bar which doesn't work or respond properly. So I hope this helped you out. Do let me know what you think of this tutorial. Come and check out my Patreon if you want scripts, projects and everything that you can see within here. I'll add this to my Patreon too. Come and join me on Discord if you want to chat and be sure to check out my awesome assets on the Unity Store. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.